What's up everyone, welcome to a new video. As you know already in this channel you can find a lot of information about how I trade and some concepts about smart money which are some concepts that I have inside of my strategy. Now as I said already in many other videos or on my Instagram if you follow me already and if you don't make sure to go follow me uh, for also daily tips and to actually follow what I'm doing and my entries and my trades and so on. As I say many times, uh, smart money is a great tool, it has some great concepts, but in my opinion, it is not something that makes you profitable. As you know, right now, it is very, very popular. A lot of traders are using smart money, including myself, keep in mind, but still the 90%, so the majority, 90% of traders, or maybe also 95% of traders are still losing money as I say many, many times. And you might wonder why. Why everyone thinks that smart money makes a person profitable, but they still lose money. The reason why is because a system, a system with an edge on the market is missing. Smart money has great concepts. They can be applied. They make you understand how the market moves. But if you don't have a system that is proven to work over time, and it's proven to give you that extra edge in the market, then it is not enough to actually be profitable. Of course, mindset and psychology plays a huge role, and you might argue that 90% of traders also lose because of that, and I agree that it plays a role in, inside of the overall 90% of traders, but this is not the only thing. Keep in mind that uh, smart money needs to be context contextualized inside of your strategy. With that being said, I hope that you will like this video. Make, make sure to subscribe because I will drop one or two free videos with free education here on my YouTube every single week. And if you want to join my course for some extra education and to actually learn how I trade and to follow my setups and my entries, then the links are here below. I'll see you in the, in the video. You the possible opportunities that I see for today. We have Euro JPY, nice push to the upside here, breaking structure, breaking this previous structure right here. We have two key points, which is this one, which is where the move starts to the upside and the high. Now we have to note that the move that actually breaks structure starts from here okay now i will look for possible setups from here we will see what happens uh, this is the 15 minutes time frame we have this demand unfortunately this demand is not below any type of liquidity so we will need a good one minute confirmation uh, in order to take it otherwise i will just monitor the market for now um then we have gbp cad let me see. No, nothing. We have some charts already being sent. Let's get started. Wait, wait. Let me put my alert on Euro JPY. So we have GP, JPY, this is the four hours time frame, so a little bit bigger picture. Let's go to the four hours and take a look at what's going on. So of course, right now, there is no need to say that we are overall bearish. Now we might need to find some levels of inversion of possible reversal. And I would say that we are already at a weekly order block. If I show you the weekly, let's see. Yes, overall will be this red candle. And then we go on the daily and we refine it. We refine it on the daily and I will just take this last down move. Um, this is daily order block. This doesn't mean that we will hold it. Um, 
as you can see, this was a consolidation, vertical structure to the upside right here. Uh, we return, we continue pushing to the upside, but here what happened was that we failed to create a new higher high. So this is failure to create new higher high. It's not that impossible that we see a new lower low creation. And if, if that happens, we will be in a downtrend and we will look only for shorts for a, a while. Now, more charts. Let's see. Is this take profit reasonable? Let's see. So of course it is GP CAD. Yes, of course it is before this supply. Very good. Tell me please which time frame is better to watch for the direction of the trend. I'm trading on one minute chart. Um, see, you cannot trade with only one chart. Um, I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want, but I'm saying um, it's not that reliable. Um, if you just want to get entries on the one minute, I will still look for direction on one hour and 15 minutes at least. Is this on oh, YouTube? <laughs> Why did you send a YouTube link? <laughs> right. Um, Euro GBP. Let's see. Let's see what happened here. Euro GBP. Fifteen minutes. So already we have fifteen minutes, which is. Let me show you. Oh, I don't trade your GP. I don't even have it on my watch list. But I will need to look at the one hour of what's going on here because 50 minutes, of course, looks good. You have breakout structure, we return, we have Asian manipulation, push to the downside. Uh, the only problem is that this is just the 15 minutes and we don't know the bigger picture. If the one hour is bullish, then this is already not valid. Good, we have Euro USD currently running. You used FIBS from the like that work structure plus demand level. This is perfect. Using the two things together just adds accuracy, adds confidence, higher probability of getting a good trade. Oh, we saw this already. Now, this is let me, uh, AUD USD. Yeah. Looking for sales, 15 minutes, or the block above liquidity. This looks very good, actually. But again, 15 minutes is not my favorite to just look at it by itself. Let me see. Look at the one hour. One hour says bearish. So that's good. One hour, one hour definitely says bearish. And we have two possible one hour zones. We have this smaller zone, we have higher zone, which is to be considered, of course. And then we go to refine it on the 15 minutes and we can already see that here you were looking, you were not considering this, you were considering the higher one in order to consider this as uh, liquidity. And that's actually good. Um, I will not short it from this one at all. So uh, how to take a trade from here? I wouldn't enter with pending orders since we have imbalance and unmitigated area up here. But if I have one minute confirmation, then we can actually consider the trade. Let's see if we reach it during the live. No, this chart doesn't work. Um, NZD USD, again, you have your FIBS, 
little different fibs than me, but still um, similar point. I think this would be the 0 0.79. But anyway, retracement fibs, this is demand. Perfect. Uh, let me see here if we fail the area. I think we also failed the previous area, so it's even more complex. So push to the upside, failing previous supply, return to FIBS plus demand entry. Perfect. So in our watch list, and I will send it in the Discord later, not now. I mean, like if we reach, if we go a little bit higher, like right here, or EuroGPY, if we go, actually, EuroGPY I should send it now. I should just send now. And AUDUSD, I will send only if we have, if we get closer to our area. Let me send it. All right, so I'm sending the message. If you go and read the message, it says one minute confirmation. Confirmation right here will be crucial um, as we have also lower demand zones because I mean, there is this lower demand zone. There is this lower demand zone, which I wouldn't really consider as there is no big push, but we have definitely this, which also has imbalance now. How to enter this trade? We enter this trade if we have one minute confirmation. What does one minute confirmation mean? One minute confirmation means that uh, I will show you also now, but you need to go on the new videos section right here. New videos. It is also inside the course, also inside the Google Drive. There is already the video, but I also put it here. You go here, you watch this video, and you learn how to get our entries. But anyway, even if I say it live, we want to see clear market structure. Remember, you don't want to see if the lows are equal and we get this break of structure. This is not a confirmation just because there is a break of structure. You want to see that the break of structure comes after the structure is actually established. So we know that this high is in control because it broke structure. And now the, the, the high in control gets taken out. At this point, we are shifting to bullish and we look to enter from demand at discounted area, okay? 